Hello, Hello everybody. We are here today for another Teacher for a Day class. Uh, in this project, we invite our students to teach a class for a day on a topic of their interest, something they like, and they do it in English so they can share their knowledge and practice English as well. Today we have here Ana Clara. She's an advanced one student. Her teacher is Ariane. So Ana Clara, do you want to introduce yourself? Yes, uh, hi everyone. My name is Ana Clara. I am 21 years old. I'm a sister information student at Hura University. And uh, you can find me on Instagram. I will search my nickname after and that's me. <laughs> All right, so let's start. Anna is going to talk to us today about artificial intelligence. I'm very curious. <laughs> so my slide is on the, the screen? Yes. OK, I, I will start. Uh, as Roberta said, I will talk about artificial intelligence. I want to thank you all for attending this event. Thank you, Renata, for your support and initiative and always email stuff. Um, I will talk a little bit about me. Uh, I said my name, <laughs> what I study. Uh, I, I enjoy playing music. I play piano and try to, I try to learn saxophone. <laughs> I'm keen play on video games. Uh, I work, I'm an intern, so I consolidate my time between work and college. And I, in, the free, in my free time, I, I play. Um, our agenda uh, is like, yes. Our agenda is, I developed this presentation to improve myself in communication, pronunciation, not to feel so nervous while I'm standing in front of an audience. Uh, so I think that if I push myself into this situation, I would improve, so here, here I'm. I am. Um, first, I will talk about the common sense about AI. What is artificial intelligence, the history, how artificial intelligence is used today. Um, I have to apologize in advance for any noise that you might hear eventually. In any minute, I don't. I know for sure that a car, I come back, I guess, is going to pass through my street and selling eggs. So don't mind. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and uh, if my connection fails, uh, I'm sorry. Um, I'm done small talk. <laughs> Let's get started. Um, are you ready? So the first one. When I say ah, when I say artificial intelligence, I mean AI. When I say AI, I mean artificial intelligence, okay? The short name for artificial intelligence. So first, AI according to the common sense. Everyone knows artificial intelligence, but uh, I want to give you some examples about what people think artificial intelligence is. This section is just for breaking the ice, for relaxing, Let's see, um, if I ask you, what do you think artificial intelligence is? What is your opinion about it? Is something good, is something bad? A lot of people might not feel comfortable with these questions because they would think it is necessary a technical answer, but it's not. I'm looking for a generic answer because you have your common sense, your life experience. Anything you guess artificial intelligence is, is valid. Um, I have to warn you that this is not an easy task because due to the poisoning produced by the entertainment industry, people don't know exactly what artificial intelligence is. I'll give you an example. AI, according to the common sense, is like a Skynet. You know Skynet? Um, uh, is is uh, Skynet is a uh, artificial intelligence uh, according to the Terminator movie. Skynet is a highlight advanced artificial intelligence created at the end of the 20th century, I think. In the movie, I think it is. It operate, operates mainly through advanced robotics and computer systems. I saw and she became self-conscious, yes. 
self-conscious. She saw humanity as a threat to her existence and decided to trigger the nuclear holocaust known as Judgment Day. I think this is this film is famous and if we talk about artificial intelligence, um, I don't know, a group of people will, will remember of Skynet. So I will even touch on the subject of time travel, but <laughs> this is Skynet or artificial intelligence according to the movie. The next, next one is Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> AI, according to the common sense, is like the matrix in the moving matrix. Um, the machine in this moving machine started to complain about rights, <laughs> built a machine city, city, and uh, in this city, machine has pro prospered, developing more advanced technology, including the creation of new and better artificial intelligence. So they start to fight against humans and humans try to kill machines and machines try to kill humans it's almost impossible to watch matrix movie and don't start to fear anything related to ai ai um, on those movies terminator matrix ai in those movies is the enemy it's worth Created as something bad is the one that humanity is fighting against. Something that we should not work with, we, we should fear is something dangerous. So we cannot deny that because of this kind of movies, people have distrust about everything related to AI. But we have hope. Uh, in, in order to make a contrast, I've put Jarvis here. Jarvis is Iron Man's artificial intelligence. It's kind of tribute for a butler who worked for him, for his family. Well, and what I want to focus here is that AI, in this movie, AI is something more positive uh, than the previous movies. Jarvis is an AI that Iron Man can trust. He helps Johnny of problems, processing multiple tasks, helps save the world many times. So in our generation, my generation, I don't know, in our generation, artificial intelligence is presented as something positive, friendly, reliable. Thanks to the books and movies, each generation has formed its own fantasy of a world ruled or at least served by robots, right? Uh, you can make a deep search after if you are interested in... I didn't post more information because we don't have much time, but if you look for previous movies about artificial intelligence, it's always something bad. Things start changing on 21st century. So we have Jaffers and other cool artificial intelligence that help humans. Now, AI is pictured as something good, and mainly because this is my opinion. I think nowadays artificial intelligence is pictured as something good for people who doesn't know artificial intelligence. It's pictured as something good because IT enterprises, information technology enterprises, IT, release it is more to assistant and everyone can have a contact with a smartphone. I guess everyone has made a conversation with Siri, uh, Alexa, or if you have a Bradesco bank account, you might know Bia. So we have a contact with uh, artificial intelligence. So we have a, um, a positive, more positive thoughts about artificial intelligence. The scenario is, is changing, right? Um, so this leads us to what is artificial intelligence exactly? Uh, I wouldn't say anything, but not Matrix and Skynet, at least. <laughs> uh, uh, because of these changes, uh, I think everyone should have a basic view of what artificial intelligence is. 
AI is not only the system that, that you can interact with. AI is more than that. AI is everywhere. And you probably have noticed that, but let's take a look on, at the formal definition. I won't be boring, I promise. But after that, I will, give, I will give some examples about what is artificial intelligence. Mm, here. I'm not here to limit your thoughts, just to point to a direction. So here's the formal definition. Artificial intelligence refers to the simulation of human intelligence in machines that are programmed to, to think like humans and mimic their actions. Besides uh, AI is a system programmed, people only think AI has a robot. I will show you uh, a video just to have fun. We have time, okay, 12 minutes. We have time. I will show a video. Uh, uh, this is, this video is Will Smith trying to talk with a robot. Okay, let's have fun. And actually, mostly it's silicone, plastics, and carbon fiber. Also, I prefer electronic music, and I don't mind even hip hop. But you know, I made I made some albums back in, in the '80s. Hip hop. I've heard those songs. Not for me. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> and, uh, the, uh, I don't know her name. I don't remember anymore. But uh, the the point is, if I ask what is artificial intelligence, people would answer that this doll, this this robot is artificial intelligence. But the right way answer is that this is a robot that has a system with artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence is not robots, not only robots. Um, AI, what do we have to have in mind? The basic thing about AI. AI is programs developed to mimic human behavior. Because of the movies, we have been conditioned to expect flying cars and robot maids. It's wrong expectations. And it's about AI too, because of the movies. We only expect AI has robots. And in our daily life, we have a contact with AI all the time. And people even realize that AI is more than this. AI is more than only robots. Mm. Stop thinking only about robots. AI is designed so you don't realize there is a computer calling the shots. Now the question is, should you brace yourself for another Terminator movie? In fact, stop thinking of robots. When it comes to artificial intelligence, a robot is nothing more than the shell of concealing what is actually used to power the technology. Something made to power the technology is a robot, metal only. That means artificial intelligence can manifest itself in many different ways. Let's break down the, to the option. I will show some examples about what is AI that is not robots, only robots, okay? What is AI? Recommendation is AI, artificial intelligence. When you are in Netflix trying to look for a movie and you don't know what to watch, Netflix say to you, I think you should watch this movie because i've learned with your behavior and i think you should watch this movie the netflix systems recommend you a movie to watch this is artificial intelligence and most people don't realize that recommendation system is artificial intelligence uh, another example is face recognition when you take a picture on i don't know in 
an application, mobile application, Instagram. We need to take a picture on Instagram and it automatically detects an object or, or detects your face. With that, you have to point, this is my face. The, the applications detect your face automatically. This is artificial intelligence, okay? Another, another example is chatbot. If you, I think everyone has <laughs> talked with Siri, right? Siri is not a robot, it's a system, it's, a, it's programmed and it's artificial intelligence. So with these examples, I want to prove, prove to you that People don't have, realize that because they are expecting robots. They don't realize that they are in contact with artificial intelligence because they are expecting robots. So uh, what is AI to uh, like a human, a machine retains information and becomes smarter over time? Uh, remember, um, when I said that AI is a try to mimic human behavior. So if we, we, we want to make the programs that can learn, we have to mimic how humans learn, right? Uh, and how humans learn basically by examples, right? We have many ways to learn things, but the, the main, way is by examples humans learn by examples so if i give you one way to i, I, I will come back up. one way to make a artificial intelligence is one way guys we have many other ways okay but i won't talk about it because we don't have time but the main way to make an artificial intelligence is give it to her examples. It's train a program with examples. As a, I, will, I will show you. If we, we give to a program examples of, of a red ball, oh, AI, this is a red ball. And, and then give other examples about balls. This is a blue ball. This is a green ball. This is a oh yellow ball. Uh, I put the wrong name here. Sorry. Uh, this is a yellow ball, orange ball. This is a pink ball. Uh, and then after you train the artificial intelligence, what you have to do? Ask her. You give her a bunch of balls to her and ask her. Uh, what is the color of this ball? And the artificial intelligence will be capable of answering you precisely with accurate answers. So the main way to produce or to build uh, an artificial intelligence is giving examples. So when uh, we come back to Netflix slide, how Netflix recommends you movies to watch netflix catch all the movies that you has watched and give has examples look anna likes to to watch this kind of movies here so it, you give examples to her and after uh oh uh, i have to recommend a movie to anna what movie i, I should recommend to her he will be capable of answering it because we he gave her examples. So if you anyone ask you what is AI, how AI is built, you know how to answer. AI is built by examples, as examples. AI history. Uh, AI, I will be, I will do this fast. Uh, Compute is not everyone's cup of tea, I know. I will be fast. I will talk about a little about the artificial intelligence history. Uh, this is not, uh, this technology isn't new. The human how always tried to create autonomous machines. I don't know if you are familiar with, but 
uh, we in humanity history, we always tried to to create autonomous machines. I don't know if you if you know that exist some dolls that can draw by themselves. Uh, toys we have a float player. <laughs> So we always try to produce this kind of machines. And actually, for the past of past half a century, it's been an idea ahead of his time. It's hard to establish an exact point to say for sure when artificial intelligence started because of this, this kind of machine that you see on the picture. Uh, I will I will I was I will only talk about the modern AI history because it's more easy to establish a start point. In the 40s and the 50s, a handful of scientists from variety of fields began to discuss the possibility of creating an artificial brain. Um, all the things started in the 40s, so we have a point. Uh, we, I, I have to talk about Alan Turing. He, he was the main name in this field, in this area. When you talk about artificial intelligence, we have to talk about Alan Turing. Uh, in 1950, Alan Turing published a landmark paper in which he speculated about the possibility of creating machines that can think. Uh, he was the first one in this field uh, in a formal, doing formal proposition on this field. Alan Turing, I don't know if you know, uh, he was an English mathematician, computer scientist. Turing is considered to be the, the father of the theoretical computer science and artificial intelligence. He's the father of this field. Um, I will share with you this video. I think an interesting video. I will let this play. Don't have a sound, don't worry. I will be talking while you watch this video. Alan Turing, um, he, he played a crucial role, cracking intercepted code messages that enabled the Allies to defeat Nazis. You remember World War II and the Nazis communicated with themselves with message encrypted, and Alan Turing well, helped to to decode the, those messages. And he was a hero of the Second World War II. If you if you want to know more about him, I I recommend you to watch this movie. This video is about the Alan Turing movies it's called the imitation game it's very it's a amazing movie everyone should watch this movie and know alan turing um despite these accomplishments he was never fully recognized in his home country england he's an englishman despite these accomplishments he was never fully recognized because uh, he due to his homosexuality and because much of his work was covered by the official secret act so we, it's it's a shame what the the royals has done with alan turing what the humanity has a debt that will never that can never be paid and um, has uh just for the record has been estimated that he, this work, his work with a computer and decoding Nazi's messages uh, helped to save 40, 14 million lives. So he is responsible to save for 14 million lives on the second World War II, uh, the World War II. So he is a hero. Uh, watch this video and learn about artificial intelligence with him. Next one, um, the next age of artificial intelligence was um, 
the next name, the main name is uh, this guy here in the picture, Professor John McCarthy. McCarthy, I don't know the name exactly. He and the, a group of computer scientists proposed to make machines uh, to make machines learn and improve themselves. So he was he played a uh, a whole in artificial intelligence history too. Next one, uh, in 1951 to 1969, the first program, program was capable of playing chess. Um, uh, it came providing logic theorems and imitating the human being form of reasoning, playing tasks, communicating natural language, learning by analogy, all these kind of programs it starts to, to release in, on that time with a boom of artificial intelligence. But in the next decade, uh, seven, uh, the next decade, we started to have problems related to storage and processing power. I don't know if you, if you know the difference, but header is something that you punch <laughs> and software is something that you yell to so when you are angry if your computer. So in this time, we, we started to have issues with computer power because the algorithms, as you can see here, the, the, the scientists were creating advanced algorithms, but we, the computer wasn't capable of running these algorithms. Uh, only in 1981, Japanese started putting money on AI research fields and previous computer conflicts were solved. So, they stopped looking for artificial intelligence in this time here because we didn't we didn't have enough computer to run to run artificial intelligence algorithms once these problems were solved the humanity started looking again for artificial intelligence uh remember when i said how we can build an artificial intelligence with examples, right? And uh, these examples is data, and data requires a place to 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 stay to be to be there. So we have to to store the, the data somewhere. And we had in, in the previous decade, this this time here, this period, we didn't have where enough place to storage large volumes of data. So we had to wait a little bit to, to some research in the field of storage and the processing power to solve this, these issues to start looking for AI again. Uh, these are the fields of AI. Not all the fields, I put the main fields here. We have machine learning, that one I explained to you that artificial intelligence learns with examples. This is machine learning, it's here. Natural language processing, when you are talking with Siri, this is AI with natural language processing. When you take a picture and the, the application detects your face automatically, this is Artificial intelligence with image recognition, with vision, computer with vision. And we have all this kind of artificial intelligence here. If you want to take a look after, feel free. Um, how AI is used today? Uh, after all this, I have said, uh, I will give you some examples and inspirations to work with artificial intelligence. Everyone can work with artificial intelligence. The, the, my first example is, is an example from where I work, from the enterprise that I work for. I know advertisement, <laughs> sorry. Um, Watson for Oncology is 
an artificial intelligence that search the text more uh, precisely and help medics to search for a solution for some kind of cancer. Oncology is the study of cancer and related things. You know that, right? Um, so how AI is used today? AI is used to save lives. Um, I will I will say something here. I, I will say this after, but I want to say this thing here. If you don't are from computer science, I, I don't know, if you want to to do medicine, I've, you say to me, oh, and I'm not interested on artificial intelligence. I, I'm not from computer science. I want to work with medicine. I don't have nothing to do with it. But this is wrong because if you know artificial intelligence, you could, you could enhance your career on any field that you are looking, you are, any field that you are pursuing. Uh, these examples show that medics using artificial intelligence to enhance treatments against cancer. So everyone should take a look on artificial intelligence. Another example I wanted to, <laughs> to put in evidence my university. This is, a, this is an application that the, the guys from my college has developed to help uh, all this thing about COVID. Remember, I said that one way to make an artificial intelligence is uh, building a machine learning, giving examples and after asking answers to the AI. So here, what the guys here has done on this application, they, they catch a lot of pictures, images with, uh, I did, did, did this part of the human body, I forgot. They have, they catch a lot of pictures and they give this as an input to a, an artificial intelligence. As an example, high samples. And then I ask the artificial intelligence, this picture is is from someone who is with COVID or is not. So artificial intelligence is helping on the medicine field. Another example is on law field. Artificial intelligence companies, uh, they are continuing to find ways to developing technology that will manage lab laborers tasks in different industries for better speed and accuracy. You see, uh, in the law field, we, the guys there <laughs> have to produce too much paper, too much documents. So artificial intelligence in this case could help with document automation, using this to create filled, filled out documents based on data input, could help with uh, prediction, could you help with uh, looking better for the details on a document. So even the guys that only like to study, I don't know, who, who want like computer systems, they are starting to, to learn about artificial intelligence to apply this knowledge on law field on the law field. Uh, another example is entertainment. Um, you know that sometimes we have players, users playing with another users, but sometimes we have a players playing with robots, not robots with a metal and physical robots, but systems robots. Um, this is a game called the StarCraft 2 from Blizzard. Uh, and we have uh, the most powerful artificial intelligence. It's from this game, this uh, bot that plays with another user, another player. So if you, are, if you want to study 
games and how to build games, eventually you will learn about artificial intelligence. Oh, Ana, I don't like computer science. I don't like artificial intelligence. I want to be a football player. Okay, <laughs> but you will learn about artificial intelligence because artificial intelligence is everywhere and power every kind of career, every kind of field. So one more example, the last one is self-driving cars. If you say for to me that you want to study mechanic and related stuff, you will learn artificial intelligence to make self-driving cars. <laughs> Amazing, right? Uh, so to finish my presentation, computers are everywhere. Artificial intelligence are everywhere. I think the, the more logical question is, how will artificial intelligence affect your job? Will it make your, your work obsolete? Just like the industrial revolution, it's not human versus machine. AI is not a silver bullet for every problem in the world, I know. But the point is, that artificial intelligence helps you accomplish more in less time. Take on repetitive tasks of your job while, while you master with strategy and relationships. So if you have a task that you have to do frequently, repeatedly, the artificial intelligence will take care of that for you. It's not artificial intelligence won't steal, steal your, your work is still your position. We don't have to fear artificial intelligence. Um, and so that's all that, that was all that I wanted to talk. Um, thank you all for watching my presentation. I hope you had fun a little bit. And I look forward to having a positive feedback from you on my Instagram. I thoroughly appreciate your support. Please let me know if you have any questions or something that I can help you. We do have some questions here, Anna, and I think everybody's enjoying the class because everybody is like congratulating you. And um, we have some questions here. So the first one, what made you delve into this world of AI? What was your first interest in it? Uh, I think... Uh... I don't know. I started to, to have fun. I have fun with AI. So I think it's because I have some experience that I, I use AI to help people and to understand the human behavior. As I said, for us to build an AI, since AI is a try to mimic human behavior, we, we have to understand the human behavior. So we have a lot of fun trying to understand the human behavior to build an artificial intelligence. I think this is the, the most coolest part of AI. And, in, and it's because of that that I love artificial intelligence. Nice. Do you have a favorite field like recognition or from those fields that you mentioned, do you have one or more than one favorite field? I like natural language processing because this mix with uh, our heads, right? When you, uh -huh. talk with, when you talk with Siri, you get, this is real? This is a person? <laughs> you get confused, right? So I think I have more fun with natural language processing, but all the fields are, are cool for me. It sure is very fun. I have, uh, I have tried Alexa. And oh my God, it's just so much fun. And I keep asking her to do weird things like sing a song and she's gonna sing a song with that weird voice. Yeah. It's very. Yeah, call for someone for me, order a yeah. pizza, she do it yes. for you. It's very fun, right? It's amazing. Uh, there's another question here. If you were to write a fictional book on AI, what would the plot be like? What's the story you would like to tell? Uh, this is hard. I think I would write uh, the same history of the movie Her. Have you ever saw ah, it? 
the movie. Yes. Exactly. I was going to ask you that. If you have a movie that depicted AI that you like. Uh, the AI that I, I like is, is the movie, is the her, artificial intelligence from the her movie. Because she has feelings. She has feelings. Yeah. But at the same time, she she has the same feeling with everyone, like thousands of people. <laughs> so it's that that should be my plot. I would write this plot. <laughs> and it's just interesting to see how it affects the human being, right? How he gets so involved with that, and it's just artificial intelligence, nothing more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, so at this moment, is there anything specific you're working on? Guys, if you have any more questions, send us on the chat, okay? Uh, uh, I, I, I can tell what I, I, I've been doing. Ooh, secret it's project. Protected. Yeah, it's protected. I don't know, I've, I'll be fired. I can Hi. talk about it, but I have worked with um, uh, data from tweet, Twitter, I think. Okay. With in the in that project we what we 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 did we catch all the Twitter data all text and like a terabytes of text data. Oh my god! And then we try to train an artificial intelligence to uh, scale how violent how how many violent content was a in that text so uh twitters like uh, we have uh, we had a uh, accident on avenida brazil uh -huh. avenue so the artificial intelligence answered to us this is a violence level three so i was trying in the laboratory in hural at hural we are trying mm -hmm. to build this kind of artificial intelligence was very cool. Wow. Very interesting. Ariane, your teacher is here watching and she's asking, what are your professional goals when it comes to AI? Uh, I tend to, I don't know if God allows me. <laughs> and if I graduate this year, I, I, I intend to do a master, to do a doctorate in this field I want to study natural language processing i want to make more powerful bots chat bots and work in, the, in this in this field in this line nice very cool um i don't think we have questions for now i want to thank you very very much and i've learned so much with you so congratulations i really had a great time here and i think everybody did uh as well I have here the slide with your Instagram account. So guys, go on and follow Anna. Would you like to say anything else, Anna? No, no, I, I want to just thank you all for, for watching. I want to thank uh, Ariane, my current teacher, for such a great work. Um, I want to thank my colleagues from the class for the support, for being here for me. And that's all. And you too, yeah, you're welcome. It was great. Thank you for presenting to us, for teaching us so much. <laughs> Guys, bye-bye. See you on the next class. Bye.